I'm not gonna lie to you guys, we're having a bit of a, a shitty day. So the problem with the heating that occurred um, last last video, um, it's still happening. How's the bodge job going? I don't know, it's been running for a minute. It turned out the our coolant's low because um, we have a leak and then it started, it's been leaking more from the bulkhead fitting. Obviously we have spare uh, glycol with us, we managed to top it up, but uh, air bubbles have entered the system as the glycol has uh, depleted. What we had to do is raise this bit higher than the pump, which is kind of wedged under the kitchen roll there. Um, but if we screw this in flat, because of the angle we're parked on, this bit gets lower, so the pump is higher, and then it cuts off. And it seems not to be a coolant level problem or a bubble bubbling problem. Uh, it seems to be something to do with some sort of fan motor in the burner itself. But yeah, we might have to go service the, the heat amount to send it away. And that's obviously not ideal because it's still not warm enough here to go without a heater. I don't know, um, the heat is not turning on at the moment, like it turns on and then it um, starts whirring a lot. Uh, well, not a lot, but basically it speeds up and then it cuts off because it has a, a safety feature. H1 service. Well, shit. That is not what we wanted. So, the electrical reset didn't work. Um, this is probably the 15th time or whatever that we've uh, tried to run it. We've moved pipes around uh, and pressed all these sort of things or whatever. Just to fill you in, we made a few calls to the company that we bought the heater from. Uh, they're really, really good. They're, they've picked up their phone every single time or called us back. <laughs> um, and they know their stuff. So, our options before us are, since this didn't work, which was our last idea so last far. Um, uh, the options are we have to send it back. Either we can take the heater off here, box it up, he'll give us a UPS label and we can ship it back to the UK. Mm -hmm. Obviously that leaves us here without a heater. Leaves us here without a heater. He said if it's something simple then he can just clean it up, ship it back to us. It may take a week or two but if it's something more complicated, if they have to order a part in or something else, it could take a month or longer. We need to keep the, the temperature in the van to some sort of ambient uh, level because otherwise we start to condense a lot, it's not good for the fridge and anything yeah. else around here. So we really shouldn't let, let the space cool down because it's still about 10 to 13, 13 degrees at night. That's too cold to go from 20, 25 to 13 degrees. Yeah. I mean, and, which... and it's raining this week, which is mm. really hell for uh, climate control. I suppose the other option is that we turn around and go back to sort out whatever. Yeah, because there's other things that have gone wrong. Like, not not anything that would constitute the yeah, let's Well, we, we need to check the mechanical stuff. We need, we need to, obviously, now do something with the heater. This is... I don't want to go back. No, I don't want I, to go I back. Ju I just got here. Yeah, we spent two weeks, three weeks getting here. In the meantime, we also had a <laughs> breakdown scare. Literally, we haven't had, like, one day without having to problem-solve something or, or adjust something. Or, like, the past two days have been the internet not working. Then the last near 24 hours have been the heater not working. And it's been largely, okay, fix this near disaster, then drive. And then the next disaster comes along. We're going to run and... out of Europe at this point. What do you mean run out of Europe? You said, fix this and drive, drive south. <laughs> We've just been driving south. We're halfway down Spain. We're not going to be able to go that much farther. Well, fine. When we get to the, to, to the tip of the <laughs> south, no more problems. <laughs> We need to make a few more calls. We need to find out what's going to cost how much and whether anybody can think of any more ideas because um, I just... I don't want to go back to the UK right now. There's other stuff I want to do here. Duh. Mm. I mean, it hasn't stopped raining for the past few days, but I'm fairly certain it's gonna the weather's going to improve. Yeah. 
<laughs> Not that I can imagine anything but rain at this point, yeah, but and, whatever. And at the moment we're actually parked outside an abandoned resort, which was meant to be next week's video. Yeah, actually, uh, we're parked next <laughs> to a pretty cool place, and we're like, oh, let's just, uh, you know, stick around here, wait, wait the rain out, and uh, then that's going to that, that's gonna be the next thing, because, you know, how often do you find an, a, an abandoned resort? <laughs> um, uh, but no, instead you're getting... Our heater's not working! Right, enough moping. Um, uh, in the meantime, I have found a uh, electronics store, and I think we should go there because I would like to be prepared for the contingency to basically send the heater off and have an electric heater at the same time. But I need to I need to have a look as to what what, what options we have because okay. looking online is annoying. So let's, enough let's... moping. Let's just try and fix something. Come along, you lot. If you fancy it, more disasters. Yay! work 500 watts programmable 12 hours you can even put it on a timer maybe or maybe something like that there jet hot and cool is that what you were looking at yeah something that can also do the uh, summer for the summer we were thinking just to buy like a 12 volt fan or something um so that's this one yeah that's that one there Eco units. I've just had oh. an idea. Okay. Yeah, I think I've had an idea of what it, what could be drop, the problem. Yeah. I think I had an idea of what could be the problem. Okay, do you want to go check it out before we commit to buying something? Yeah, yeah we need to go and check it out. Okay, this sounds interesting. Right then. Under we go. Oh. Apologies for noise and light, but yeah, the air intake is up here, all the way up there. It comes down, down, loops up, and goes into the heater somewhere up there. So if I remove this whole thing, and also just unbolt the heater, the bolt is holding it in there, and just tip it, so any water caught in here can come out. And I guess we'll see if that solves the problem. <sighs> Maybe. I hope so. I really hope so. Right, if water comes pouring out of here, then we know there's a problem with this, don't we? Let's have a look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was a lot of water. That water should definitely not be in that. Okay. That might be the problem. That would be good news if that's the problem. Let's have a look. Let's get this whole thing off. Right. Yeah, see that's wet in there. Right, right. So I think I need to put some tissue in there and clean that up. Um, Frankly, I may just even leave it off and then start the heater on because it doesn't need the air intake. All it needs is a vent point, which is there. So maybe if I just clean the inside of that out and then turn the heater on and see if that works, maybe I'll stay under here. That might be an idea. All right, I hear some shouting for a tissue, so I better go do that. This is gonna be wet. Tissue, please. Thank you. Have you got what are the? You doing? I think I found the problem. See the air intake there? Yeah. It was filled with water. Oh. So I've disconnected it completely. I'm just going to dry the air intake port, and then if I get you to hop in and turn it back on again, I'll stay under here. Are you sure? I don't. Want, I don't like to be in there when it's that power is on. No, I should be under here because I need to see what's happening. I'll move out the way. And I think that's the problem. There was water in there. I think that's the problem. I think that's the problem. No, you were supposed to put this bag underneath your butt. It is under my... No, it's not. Where is it? I can see your butt. Your butt's here. Oh, don't touch the trousers. <laughs> don't touch the trousers. 
<laughs> the bag is underneath the waterproof. It's keeping the waterproof dry. Well, I'm glad it's keeping something. So, uh, what do I want you to do? Right. When I give you the knock, uh -huh. turn it on. Right. Let's see if this works. Okay, I got the knock. Come on, baby. The Matrix on. I can hear. I can hear Sam shouting underneath the van. You can do it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I <just> hear. <sighs> oh, we got a fair amount of exhaust. Come on. Come on! She lives! Did he shout he lives or it lives? Fascinating. I'm scared to feel hopeful almost at this point. We're still running, I know. She lives! I know, we, we heard you from, 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 from here. It was water. It was water in the system. You should have seen the exhaust smoke. I caught it on camera. It was water. It just burnt off all the water on the air intake. And that was the problem. There was water in the air intake. <sighs> Do you want to come in? I need to go and get all the tools and GoPro and all right. my sanity. Well, but don't worry about the sanity. Just get the tools. <laughs> He's soaking. Let <laughs> me just pull that. <laughs> oh, the penguin walk. Okay. Okay. Extraordinarily. T but take you know the off. good thing? You know the good thing? I may be cold. I may be wet. But I can dry out because I have heating <laughs> that works. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just aged 50 years. I think so. <laughs> the problem is water managed to get up in there and go down. That okay, so no big puddles. So, 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 no you know, so you know when you're driving, um, uh, <laughs> you you are on the far side. Yeah, and I was driving... And the heater is on the same side the as you. The heater's because we are now on the other side of the road because yeah, we're in so Europe. Driver's there, heater's there. Yeah, and a big puddle of water that usually catches at the edge of the road, especially here around the orange groves, there's just huge puddles of water that are like that deep sometimes, mm -hmm. and we just go straight through them, water gets in this. Okay. Well, that will be a reoccurring problem then. Okay, what I think we should do, so that heater is on now, I think we should run it for about an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. um, it's only half an hour, you have to increase Half an hour, so I'll increase it an hour, let it fully, thoroughly burn. Relax, and okay, let's, okay. Let's, let's see if that solves the problem. It's progress. I need to get warm now. Right, so the heater's had overnight to dry, and so is this. This has been drying inside the van overnight. Uh, the heater ran flawlessly throughout the night. Uh, we did test it, put it on short cycle, long cycle. Everything seems to be working. Of course, you know that feeling where you're listening for every single sound and the sound comes in like, what's that? What's that? Is that normal? I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> I think it was just because we were listening way too avidly to realize, no, that's what the pump does normally. But 
gonna reinstall this now that it's uh, had a chance to dry and I think I've got an idea of how to stop the problem happening again because the problem is is that the instructions say this bit has to be pointing up so it does have to do a loop according to the instructions which which uh, seems a bit weird considering the problem we've had but anyway let me go and reinstall it and I'll show you the solution I think we've got so to stop this happening again I'm thinking if I cut a little hole down here so that any water that does manage to get in up there can drain out all right there now that should do it there you go and that way any water that collects in this tube will drip out of here and it shouldn't clog up our diesel heater again which means I shouldn't need to do this again oh please let that be it It's been a, a few days now since uh, the heating fiasco, uh, maybe actually even ne near a week now, and it's fine. The problem was the water. No more error codes, no more service one, blah, 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 blah. So since we're talking about the heating, we have a bit of an um, update for you. We have had a lot of interest and requests to make our hydronic heating diagrams public. So that is the plumbing and wiring hydronic heating diagrams that we use to build our own uh, system. And since we have like more than 30, 50 requests to be going on with, we've done just that. Uh, we've tied up our diagrams, they're bundled up for you to go pick up in the link down below. There's a 10% discount code for everybody watching this video today and there's a 20% discount code for everybody who registered their interest when we asked you to register your interest. <laughs> and you have a personalized link in your email box now. Uh, is there anything else? Mm, mm, there is. There's something else. Strawberry. There's my strawberry. Thank you. Yeah, so we're getting a lot of emails from people asking us to video chat so we can talk about uh, your own van builds, you know, whether it be layouts, hydronic heating or anything else. If you do wish to book our time for a video chat, then the link for that is in the description below and that will be a fixed charge one hour consultation with us on a van build topic of your choice okay uh, because we're getting so many requests obviously we cannot get to everybody so we really like to make sure that we guarantee our time and make sure that you show up if you do book our time so that is basically a paid consultation for video chat but you can still email us and message us absolutely for free uh, via email and stuff and we'll do our best to answer obviously we cannot guarantee our time then and I can't guarantee how quickly we'll answer because there's so many, but that is it. Those are the updates. We would love to know all of your thoughts on all of these projects and we have more products and templates and worksheets and planners coming in the pipework right now. So register your interests down below. There's links for that in the description as well. Jesus, I'm gonna run out of characters in the description. <laughs> okay, anyway, heating disaster averted. Let me eat strawberries now. You can turn off the camera now. You don't have to.